Friday's blues time. just doing some fooling around blues and E. Um, I thought I'd just share with you maybe a couple of licks that I do when I'm, you know, when I'm sitting around, this is the way I play. And then sometimes I'll think, oh, I think I'll do a lesson around that because that's fun. So let's see what I was doing there and I'll, I'll share it with you. So I'm, I'm basically, you know, I got that thumb going like I do with shuffle, right? If you can get that thumb going, that's cool. If not, that's okay too. And I just slide up to a little seventh look because you get your uh, fourth fret on the G string and the third fret on the D string using your third and second finger respectively. You've heard that before. Now I'm going to pull up. That's pretty effective in the blues. You're pulling up from the uh, fourth of the G and going down to the two. A slur, right? Very bluesy. Now, if you want to, you can hammer on. That'd be John Lee. That's John Lee right there. That'd be John Lee's thing. That's always fun. So, once again. Just stay there. So, that was fast. There's no rules on this, right? Let's go to A. So I'm just going from, this is a classic A move. Just going to the fourth and the fifth fret on the uh, D string. So we've got a little bit of rock and roll in it, right? back to that E, just kind of the theme, then we'll go to B7, to an A, there's just so many, many, many ways to do that, you know, and I'm just showing you I guess it, it falls under connective tissue in a way. It gets you from one chord to the next, but also it establishes a melody, and that could be that. That's your melody, right? Kind of like a, almost like a vocal thing. So that's that's kind of the mood that that uh, that I get into a lot of times when I'm playing acoustic blues. When I want it to be mm, maybe down in the bucket, really relaxed, not trying too hard, kind of stuff. Yeah. And then um, if you, the other one I, I think I've shown you guys before, but I want to show you again is you can go up to that uh, the seventh fret, your first finger, and eighth fret on the B string with your second finger, and just wiggle that. You can use it in the same way as this one. I know I've talked about some of these licks before, but um, I, I think it's, it bears repeating because uh, they work. You know, <laughs> these are licks that actually work. And so when you're going to your A chord, you know, you got you're hearing the melody. You can feel it. You can feel the A coming. I often 
and don't resolve to the five. Sometimes you can, but it's a little corny sometimes. You can do that. Depends on the mood. That's a B, a B ninth, uh, you know, a C ninth to a B ninth. Just that James Brown chord. I like that uh, in the setting of an acoustic blues because it kind of sets it apart. thing. So that's uh, just taking that C ninth chord and then flatten it to a B ninth. And that, that's a nice resolve, I think. So or you can do a which is just nothing more like a D seventh chord, right? Move it up three. Makes it an E6, uh, E7. Walk it down chromatically. And I do a whole a whole course on uh, on blues that you can pick up at JimmyDillon.com, which is just uh, just a ton of stuff like this. I bet, you know we obviously can't cover it all in eight ten minutes, but I love doing these uh, YouTube videos because it just uh, it's just really me, basically me sitting around playing and kind of sharing with you guys, like I said, the connective tissue or the the special sauce that makes acoustic guitar what it is, really magical, I think. And just those in-between. All that stuff. you can use. Yeah, I hope you had a good day and I'll talk to you soon.